it's really amazing how these guys come in this room and don't even know each other when they first walk in the room sometime, but become very good friends and work really well together. It really teaches good teamwork. Um, the car itself teaches them a lot also by making small adjustments. They get to see the car go faster each time. And we started off with a very basic car kind of deal. And each time they run it, it's getting faster and faster and faster. So they're seeing the benefits. They're seeing the fruits of their labor working on this car because every time they run it, it goes just a little faster. The school is great. You learn, you learn a lot and you get to do this. What else could be better, honestly? Just having fun with people that you actually enjoy the same things you do. You can't get any better. Ideally, if it goes 155, 160 mile an hour tonight, it would be great. Best we've gone before is about 151, almost 152. We changed the carburetor and uh, tightened up a couple loose ends. The biggest change was carburetor swap we did on it during the week. Fixed a couple trans leaks we had last time out. So, like I said, if we go uh, anything over 152 mile an hour is a, is a win tonight. adjustments get it back out there and uh, see how we do hopefully we'll improve a little bit uh, we're gonna bump up the idle and they're, they're gonna set some time and make some minor adjustments and we'll give it another shot We had a keyway shear down on the bottom and took our belt out and uh, unfortunately it's not something you just grab off the shelf at, you know, uh, at Kohl's there. So looks like we're dead in the water for the rest of the night. Uh, yeah, you can make a necklace out of it. Put an alarm clock on it so you have something to wake up with the line next time. You never know. Sometimes that's the way it is. You never know. Yeah, man, that's right. That's the way it is. Sometimes things happen like that. Hi, welcome back. We're back down E-Town, and uh, if you remember last time we had a little issue down here with the belt. This belt got eaten up. Well, the first, we had two problems going on last time we were here filming. Um, the first one was we run a vacuum pump because the engine actually has to be kept under a little bit of vacuum, unlike a regular car that has a PCV system, positive crankcase ventilation. This car doesn't utilize that, so we put the car under a mechanical vacuum in order to keep it from blowing gases out of itself and blowing all the seals out and blowing oil out of the engine. The belt that drives that spun off the car, the pulley had shifted and it actually lost horsepower because of that. On top of that, once we've straightened out that problem, we had a recurring problem with our transmission. We had a leak in the case that we could not nail down. It finally just got to the point we have replaced the entire transmission with a fresh one. So hopefully that takes out all our problems there and we're looking forward to a good run tonight, hopefully in the eights.
definitely yeah. definitely bomb. I know I, I was a little late. Oh, he cares about your late. I know. No, it just when you you start to take off, it just and then and then it went. You know, but then. That might be, it may be timing, Mike. Well, we're gonna check, we're gonna maybe bump it. Uh, let's, get the, let's get the battery charger on the, the car. <laughs> Guys are at it. Something let loose top end. They're, they're digging in there to see what happened. It was a pretty decent run, as you're seeing, but uh, that's what happens. You push it, you race it, and you're pushing it to the max, and you start breaking things. It was a great night here. All the students had a blast, and uh, this is what we do here at Lincoln. You know, you, you get enrolled in school, you learn how to work on cars, you make the honor roll, and you get put on the race team, and you get to play with cool race cars. Yeah.